Assalamualaikum. We are Nabiha, Umrah, Ramizah, Shafiqah and Aishah from Group 1. We are going to present our video on one of the classification of Makasid Shari'ah specifically on protection of akal daruriyat. With that came a thought to make a community engagement project to divulge the protection of intellect against alcohol and drug consumption. We believe that Muslim community need to be brief and educate on the topic of Makasid Shari'ah. So our objectives in conducting this project are to produce intellectual and healthy Muslim to practice the knowledge of the red, the protection of akal in Makasid Shari'ah and to raise awareness of the harmful use of liquor and drugs. We also create a set of quizzes question in order to measure our participants understanding of Makasid Shari'ah. Hence, our methods to conduct this group project are first, we brief our participants which consists of our friends and family members about what is Maqasid Sharia, the Islamic perspectives, the history of alcohol and drugs prohibition in Quran and the effects of alcohol and drugs on human intellect and body. Here is the short clip of us during the session with the participant. You guys can give me that, okay? So first yes, I'm going yes. to explain what is Makasih Syariah. Okay, so Makasih Syariah is actually a Syariah uh, terms that refers to a preservation, pre preservation of order, achievement of benefit and prevention on harm or corruption and also an establishment of equality among people. So actually Makasih Syariah is a sort of kind of like um, specific law that is made in Islam in order for uh, us as a Muslim to work better and also our objective and uh, the objective of Makasih Syariah is actually to um, to, pro to kind of like protect each of us as a Muslim and make sure that all of our rights are, are kind of like protected uh, using the religion of Islam itself and their benefits. So, here in this surah, it talks that uh, alcohol has both good and bad benefit for humankind. So, next slide. Moving on to the second stage where uh, Allah has had to prohibit the alcohol when it's almost during the prayer time. So, in surah Nisa, verse 43, uh, the explanation of the prohibition is explained in this verse. Okay, next. Next, in the stage 3 or the last stage, Allah has prohibit humankind from taking or consume alcohol because it is uh, it has more bad than good. So, uh, as a Muslim, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. As a Muslim, we should uh, stay away from this as it will bring us to the destruction of life. Next, I pass to. Me. Shafiqa. <laughs> okay, next, I will talk about the effect of alcohol on human intellect and body. The first one will be model human intelligence, which means that humans cannot differentiate between good uh, or bad as well as they cannot make a rational thinking out part. <clears throat> the second one is the addictive, the addiction. The addition of the taking alcohol and drugs will cause health deterioration <laughs> uh, which makes your body will uh, slowly um, become bad and the third one will be a fail to recall which is the, will cause the poor memory and slowed uh, reflexes uh, you cannot rem like you cannot um, remember <clears throat> that you cannot remember all those um, things uh, the good things are so Next, we asked our participants to answer the questions in the quizzes to find out whether they understand the concept of protection of aqal under daruriyat in maqasid sharia. Lastly, we had a photography session as a proof and appreciation towards the participants. All in all, the quiz conducted managed to educate each participant and increase their knowledge on Makasid Sharia. We hope that participants can share the knowledge with others in order to produce a healthy community. The prohibition of alcohol in Islam is one of the ways to protect our society from evil and elevate our iman. Thus, we believe that by obeying the Makasid Sharia, it can lead humankind to Jannah and make Muslim life more peaceful. Mm -hmm.